entrance to basically the cottage. Come on in. Um, to my right you see um, uh, a lovely hand-painted well batik which is uh, or was made by my dad. I've had it here for about five years or so and I treasure it very very much. It's a one-off. Um, over there I am just burning some um, soy candles. Um, I made these myself and I think I'm using the, the fresh one and it makes the, fr the place smell rather fresh because um, <clears throat> we're based on a, when we say we, Sheva's Cottage is based on a working farm in Sonnen so you do get um, uh, the whiff of the cattle and obviously the tractor is moving backwards and forwards and all that so it's nice to have something refreshing I love natural scents but yes um, cattle scent and um, natural what do you call it farm scent <clears throat> don't always mix together so it's nice to have the candles burning sometimes now the cottage is split into three parts uh, where I'm standing is the, um, the retail as I want to call it and um, next to it at the back through those um, um, is a slats is the kitchen area where we've got um, boxes and boxes and boxes of um, shea butter um, and all sorts and then on to the right is what I call the hub which is the biggest room where I do all the packaging and it's got the labels and all that right um, over here onto the right, oh, sorry, yeah, to the top of this um, shelving is um, you've got a row of little dinky baskets from Gan. I just love these baskets and I've never sold any um, because I just use them for customers who come in to buy anything off the shelf. You do get customers popping in every now and then and um, so it's nice to have something that they can put their um, little goodies in. Um, and to the left, you've got bigger baskets. Um, I'll probably be selling them soon because I've just had them for about five years now. Um, right. <coughs> Sorry. These little boxes contain the soaps that um, we have on offer at the moment. Basically, um, you buy £35 worth of goods and you get this um, free box of soap which has got um, frankincense and shea butter and olive oil. I'm not very good at filming so please please um, excuse the fuzzy images. Right, and next to it it's got a, a tray of um, soaps that have come to the end of their, not shelf life, no, but basically um, they are odd shaped um, bars of soap and um, or maybe just one left out of the batch or something so you get them um, a reduced price in this um, little envelope so I've got something down my throat <coughs> down here we've got Larabica um, gorgeous lip balm with um, coffee butter uh, kupuasu butter I don't know if I pronounce it properly um, um, cocoa butter premium cocoa butter from Ghana with uh, some vanilla and uh, next to it we've got um, sushi rasu clay and then um, wooden soap molds because I know some of you like to make your own soap although I'm a soap maker I don't mind um, <laughs> There's so much I can do. Down there, some supporty oil. The, I think it's just the remaining bottles that I have. <coughs> Sorry. Um, all sorts. Oh, and there. There, 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 there. Can you see it? It's this unrefined palm kennel oil from Ghana. This is one gorgeous ingredient that I can't do without because I use it in my hair. At the moment I use it in my hair. And um, I use it in my Green Hair Monster uh, recipe which is on the blog and which is proven quite popular. So you try it for yourself. It's got a nutty sort of caramel scent. I just love it. And now Danny have got lemon and lime soap. And hello tree. I don't know, well plant really is not a tree. <laughs> Um, Cuba hair pomade. <coughs> I, I'm using this at the moment. Um, although I tend to use Moringa hair pomade most of the time, I'm using this at the moment uh, for my braids because um, 
I haven't had the supplies to make a fresh batch of moringa, that's why, not because I'm being lazy, sorry. <clears throat> down here, now down here, <laughs> if you love cocoa butter, just stay away from the shelf. <laughs> right, you've got cacao noir, uh, you've got afra, and then you've got a quava belly butter. Now, Afra and Cacao Noir, they've got more than 70, more than 70% of pure, unrefined, premium cocoa butter from Ghana. Yes, I, I, you, you, you probably get fed up of me mentioning Ghana. Well, I am from Ghana and I'm so proud to be a Ghanaian, so I'll keep saying it. <laughs> right, Cacao Noir has got cocoa butter and palm kernel so it's quite sort of natty um, and dark in colour so sorry I've covered I've packaged everything so you can't see the the real McCoy and then next to you you've got Afra um, which oh gosh it's absolutely gorgeous I'm curing the next batch at the moment and my house is like a chocolate factory because of the lovely scent from Afra it's got um, cocoa butter a little bit of um, coconut oil and a little bit of palm kernel oil. All the ingredients from Ghana in their unrefined state. Afra has been named after my dear um, grandmother who was a cocoa farmer herself. And so bless her heart um, in, loving, in loving memory of my um, grandmother. Now equava belly butter. Ooh. Just don't eat it. <laughs> it's got um, papaya, uh, it's got cocoa butter, it's got marula, and it's got monoi. Ah, oh, lovely. And it's fragrance free. But all the lovely natural scents just complement each other. And although it's for the tummy, I know most of you are like, forget stretch marks, I'm using it for my hair. It's a, it's actually a, a what do you call it, dual purpose um, product because it's for the belly butter and the hips and all that, as well as for the hair. Then here we've got um, sheer body scrub, which I know most of you say leave you with baby soft skin. I'm glad to know that because every product that I make, I obviously make with your skin in in mind and it's good to get some uh, positive feedback on this product as well as most of the other products. Next to it is my little pot of gold. I call this my little pot of gold because I've been making this for about well, six years or so now. Um, same packaging, same labeling, same um, love that goes in and the same love that goes in all the other products that I make. Um, and this is the 100% um, whipped shea butter. Nothing added, nothing, just pure unrefined shea butter from Ghana. Now I've been supporting the same coat for about six years now so it's nice to know that you guys are loving this product. I've got some papaya soap down here. I just love papaya. Popo, papaya, whichever. Internally, externally, it's just a great, great product. Um, sorry, ingredient. <laughs> I just love this. Um, and it's fragrance free. You notice that most of the products within the Chocolatina range are um, fragrance free because um, so, so once I got it, I thought that is it. This is it. I'm not going to even change it or anything. And this is um, moisture from top to toe. There they are. Little beauties. And they are fragrance free as well. So you can add your essential oil to it. Or use it as it is. Next to it, the pomegranate uh, face mask. Chocolate face mask. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, I, am, I am a chocoholic, yes. Um, let's move on anyway. And they've got their little bars of um, African black soap. Um, Bayo Bapsam Semina, actually. Um, cleansing oil. Oh, hello, little pot. Um, some more African black soap. Essential oils, monoi, bottles of monoi. Um, African black soap. And African black soap. What else do you want to see? <laughs> Slice her around. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see me now. Hello. I'm actually wearing uh, one of my um, jewelry. Sorry. One of my um, necklaces from the Shanty Girl range with the uh, earrings. Why not? 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little um, presentation of my little cottage and um, hope to see you soon. Bye bye!